X-Men the Animated Series unboxing coming right up. Mr. Clicks Flicks is brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama, home of the RSC. No matter if you're in the United States or around the world, Lucky Dice Cafe has the winning role for all your gaming needs. You can visit them at LuckyDiceCafe.com or on their Facebook page using the link found in the description of this video. Mr. Clicks Flicks is also brought to you by Trollandtoad.com, one of the largest online gaming retailers. Use the promo code Mr. Clicks Flicks for 5% off your Heroclix order today. Alright guys, so today we are unboxing two more boosters of X-Men the Animated Series. Uh, this is a really cool set. We've already done two other unboxing videos of two boosters each. Make sure to check out the YouTube card now for one of those unboxings. Uh, we've been pulling some pretty good stuff lately, so I'm really excited for those. And if you're interested in trying to win some of this, make sure to check out the video in the YouTube card now. Because thanks to our friends over at TrollandToad.com, I will be giving away an entire brick of this set, which is 10 boosters. Uh, so just click on that video, follow the instructions in the video. And on September 28th, 2019 at 11.59 p.m., I will randomly draw a winner. And TrollandToad.com will send you your brick of X-Men the Animated Series. So really cool. I can remember watching this series on Saturday mornings as a little kid. Super excited when I heard about this. My boy Gambit right here in the background. Uh, haven't pulled one of those yet, so definitely uh, trying to get a hold of one of those. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to unbox these, take a look at them. If there's like a highlight figure, Chase Prime, Super Rare, something like that, we'll take a look at it. And then check back tomorrow where we will review each figure that is pulled from these two boosters. So here we are with booster number one. Hoping for some cool stuff. Like I said, the last two videos we did really good in. So hoping for more good stuff. Haven't pulled any super rares yet. So hopefully we get at least one. Let's see here. All right. So we got at least one thing that's kind of cool here. And this is the cool thing about this set too is that it has uh, colossals and standard size figures. So it's really cool for stuff like this. Uh, so here we are. We've got a rare colossal in Bastion. So really cool there. Definitely a solid pull for us. And I'm sorry if I keep bumping the uh, the camera here, guys. I'm doing my best. Um, so we've got uh, Scanner, who is a common. She's pretty cool. I uh, saw somebody use her at pre-release this week, uh, and she was definitely a force to be reckoned with. Then we have rare standard-sized Bastion. That looks pretty sweet next to each other. I, I'm not going to lie. That's that's pretty cool. Next, we have a Guard Commando. Uh, I'm not sure. That could be Hellfire Club, but I'm not positive. And we've got Jean Grey uh, Uncommon. So pretty cool there. Uh, definitely happy about uh, getting both Bastions. I think that's pretty sweet. Um, I like the purple-pink effect on them. That's just uh, something I really like. And, uh, yeah, so nothing really here that we're going to focus on too much in this video. However, we will in the next video, uh, be, we'll uh, review each of these individually. So we're just going to go ahead and go right on to booster number two. Let's see how we do here. We'll keep those ones from first booster going and see how we do comparing the two boosters. And you guys let me know in the comments below what figure I, get, I pulled in this video that you would most want for your collection. Always enjoy reading that stuff. All right, so here we are. It uh, looks like we got some neat stuff here, some stuff we didn't have yet. So let's see here. First off, I'll get them off off camera here. We got Cyclops Sentinel. So really cool there. That was a fun episode where um, Wolverine was not happy that Gene and Scott were getting married. And uh, he was taking it out on the Cyclops Sentinel. So pretty cool there. Then we have Cable. We already pulled one of him, but still really cool. I uh, always enjoyed all those episodes that always had Cable. Then we've got Rogue in her classic 90s attire. I really like that. I It's been a long time since they've made a Rogue in that outfit. So really excited we got another one. Then we have Scanner, our second one. So pretty cool there. And then the last one is... Graydon Creed from the Friends of Humanity. Really cool there. Definitely always enjoyed those story arcs with the Friends of Humanity. Uh, so yeah, no chases, no primes, no super rares in those two, but still some really solid stuff. Uh, so like I said, make sure to check back tomorrow, uh, and we will have a video review of each figure that we pulled today. 
Uh, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Give it a share. It really helps keep me motivated to make these videos. That's all I have for you today. As always, please remember the zone critical myths if you don't have probability control.